everybody, and welcome back to Bob and Kelly's Martini Monday. Where we are mixing up a brand new martini for you guys every single Monday this year. Yeah, and this is the holiday season, so yeah. we are doing holiday martinis. Holiday martinis. We This is our third week in November. Yes. So, of course, November in the United States is all about Thanksgiving. It's almost right? here. We're not going to skip ahead to Christmas just yet. Nope. So we are doing November, Thanksgiving, favorite part of Thanksgiving. And that's all like, yeah, Thanksgiving's on Thursday. So right. we gotta get this one in, because this is like a favorite of Thanksgiving people. Yes, yes. This, I do not care for this, so it's gonna be hard for me to choke it down, <laughs> but maybe the alcohol will help. We'll see. Yeah, because We're gonna see. Kelly loves pumpkin pie. I do, so today, what are we making? A pumpkin pie martini. Pumpkin pie martini. This one's gonna be interesting. It is gonna be, it's very interesting. Yeah, a little yeah. bit different. Um, it's gonna be creamy. Yes. It's gonna be a creamy martini. Creamy martini. Creamy Creamy martini. Yeah, so we'll, we're gonna see how it goes because we've got some interesting ingredients. I know, I'm kind of like, mm, mm. but I, hey, I'm taking one for the team. You I'm are. willing to try it. You are. So are you ready to get into this? I am way? so ready. Okay. Let's go. So as always, our martini recipe is for two. Yes. And we have our glasses pre-chilling. Right. Chill. Here. So to start off with, milk. Those of you people like me that are lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant. Be aware. Right. Of the milk. So we're gonna use four ounces of milk. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. It's all. You know, I'm not a big fan of milk either, but. I hey. know. This. I think this is the first one we've ever made with milk. Maybe. But you know, you put a little few yummy spices in it, and it might be just. True. True. It might be worth it. It could be surprise. That would be three ounces of vanilla vodka. Vanilla vodka. And we're using absolute vanilla vodka. Yeah. What did you say? Three? Three, three ounces? ounces yeah. Okay. So there's two. Two and one. And one. Makes three. Three ounces okay. of vanilla vodka. And then next we're gonna use some cream de cocoa, cream de cacao. Cacao, cocoa, cocoa. however you wanna say yeah. it. Yeah. It's all right. It's like chocolate flavored. Yeah, liquid. which is interesting yeah. in a pumpkin pie martini. Yeah. You wouldn't think chocolate, but. I don't know, sometimes you know, the chocolate gives it a little whammy, wham, wham. Whammy? Yeah, it's good. Okay. It gives it, it's kind of undertone. Everybody needs so a whammy. So we're using an ounce and a half of cream de cacao. Okay. And we have found this recipe somewhere else, but we've changed it a little bit. Yeah. To where we think that we might like it better. Right. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it goes. You know, and usually we're pretty right. Usually. I'm just gotten, gonna, bra I'm just gotten, gonna brag. I'm just gonna brag. We're gotten kind of good at this martini yeah. mix. So we need an ounce of maple syrup. Okay. And I gotta tell you, maple syrup is yummy. Maple syrup is yummy. So we're gonna and do. You have like real maple syrup. I know this is real, real genuine not, maple syrup. Not, you know. Not the fakey, fakey, the fakey kind. No. Okay. And then here's where it gets a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> As if the milk wasn't weird enough, here's a little more. Here's weird. a little more weird. We got pumpkin puree. So what I did was I took pumpkin, just pumpkin in a can. Pumpkin, canned pumpkin. Canned pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And I mixed it with half and half in a blender to make it liquidy, so it's a puree. More than a, this is gonna be like. It's thick. It is thick. <laughs> oh. It's kind of gelatinous. Okay. But that's kind of what, you know, if you're making a pumpkin pie and you use you the want canned a, Yeah, pumpkin. you want a little bit of creamy there. Yeah, because you usually use like um, evaporated milk in your pumpkin pie recipe. Right. So. So there, that's all the ingredients in the pot. Mm. I know. Okay. But anyway, so we may be going never Ooh, again. Never again, but we're but gonna, we're gonna, give, gonna it, give it hell. We're gonna give it the old college <laughs> try. This Do you want is this ice too, no, or should I dispose ice. of this ice? You can dispose of that ice. Okay, I'm gonna dispose. All right, so while I shake this up, shake it good, about shake 30 seconds so you get nice and cold. Kelly's gonna rip the glasses with. I'm gonna rim the glasses with some brown sugar. And maple syrup. And maple syrup. So I have one plate of maple syrup here. And one plate of brown sugar here. And we're just here we go. Here. Now we wanna get this one choked, choked real good because this is kinda, of, like I said, it's got some thickness to it. It's got some viscosity. Viscosity? Yes. The word of the day is viscosity. And we want to make sure everything, all the people in the pool are mixed good. Ooh, that looks good. It does look pretty. Put it right here. Babe. I did. Right here. All 
All right, I'm all ready. Okay. Ready for it. It's Uno good momento, and cold. Por favor. Mm. Okay, mm. there we go. That's what our glasses look like. Did it do? And here we go to do okay. the pour. The pour. I'm gonna double strain it too. Okay. Ooh, double strain. Double strain. Yeah, because that pumpkin puree is a little thick. Yeah, and I don't really want any bits and pieces. Okay, that doesn't look too scary. No, it doesn't. It looks no. kind of like a, like a just. Oh, there's. It looked a little. It looks a little bit like the creme brulee martini. Yes. Because, you know the yes. kind of color and consistency. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be optimistic. I am optimistic because I kind of like all these tastes together, mm -hmm. these flavors. So anyway. Even though you're not a big like pumpkin pie fan. Yeah, but I like the flavors separately. Okay. So I don't know if I'm going to like them together. Okay. That's cool. And I am going to garnish with just a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. Ooh, that looks pretty. La la la, la la la. You just like that. There we go. And there we have our garnished. There we have our garnished pumpkin pie. You, well, you martinis. did have a little bit. Of a... I know, but that's okay. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Bob. Wouldn't be a Bob block or a Bob thing if it wasn't a little. You didn't messy. have a little bit of goober on the towel. A little bit of messy. Right. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, let's taste these bad boys. You know what's kind of cool is the how the yeah the maple syrup kind of running the, down the rim. The sugar kind of ran down the rim. Like right here. Yeah, there it it's is. It's kind of cool. Okay, here we go. Pumpkin pie martini. Cheers. I kind of like how it's separated. I do too. A little bit like that. Can yeah, that's that? cool. That's kind of cool. It's kind of like, like the it. cream came to the top. Mm hmm. Smells like pumpkin pie. Hmm. What do you think? It tastes like there's Bailey's in it. It kind of tastes like Bailey's. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. This is really good. Surprisingly. Uh-huh. It has a really good finish. I can taste that sweetness on mm -hmm. the back. And I get a little it bit. It does have a really good finish. I get that pumpkin pie spice. I'm not getting like a whole pumpkin in your face. Like no. pumpkin. No. But. That would be funny. I get kind of like that. I think it's more the pumpkin pie but spice. But I like the creaminess of it too. I do like if the it, creaminess of it. If it the creaminess, it wouldn't be like, it wouldn't be, it's more authentic. Yeah. With More the creamy. Right. Because it's like when you do pumpkin pie, you put like whipped cream on top. Mm-hmm. Squirty cream. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and that just kind of mellows everything out. And it tastes great. No, it's, I'm surprised that I like this one as much as I do. I think I actually like this one better than the tiramisu martini. We I do too. Week. I actually do. The I, tiramisu I, martini was a little like <sighs> strong. It, it was very liquor forward. Yeah, it was. This one is very gentle. That chocolate, though, you can taste just a little bit of that chocolate. You can taste a little bit of the creme de coco. And that makes it, it just makes it good. It moves it out, yeah. I think. I like this. I okay. like it. I'm I am surprised. so surprised at how good this one is mm -hmm. because it really, really is very good. And I'm not going to have a problem drinking this. But I still will not eat pumpkin pie. I think the brown sugar rim helps a lot, too. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like super sweet. No. You know, because you would think with the brown sugar rim, it would be like really, as really much sweet. maple syrup as we put in there. Mm -hmm. You would think, but Marco, oh my, sorry, maple syrup is not as sweet as simple syrup. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. But it has that uh, that other flavor, that maple flavor. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I am pleasantly surprised. So. Look, Thank, mine's halfway. Gone. I know. It's like we're just <laughs> guzzling this thing down. I was gonna guzzle that. That's really good. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. All right, well. Yay. This would be a good one to have for Thanksgiving Day. It if you would. want to impress your friends and you want to, you know, you're having dinner or just a few people for Thanksgiving, yeah. start it off with this. Yeah, that would be a really this great way This is gonna way be to a really off. good way to start it mm -hmm. off because then you're gonna eat more turkey. Yeah. The only thing that was a little bit preppy was the pumpkin puree. Um, you know that you had to make yeah, but that's that was easy. It you can do really, that ahead of time yeah, too. Was, and you can put it in the fridge. It was exactly. really easy. Just, yeah, you know pumpkin Whatever canned pumpkin what do they call it just 
pumpkin. pure pumpkin. Yeah, and canned then pumpkin. There was no sugar, anything. It just Nothing. used half and half to make it more liquid. Yep. So easy peasy. Yep. Cool. I, as always, I will post the recipe down below if you guys are interested in making this. Let us know if you do and what you think because I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. So, cool. yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving this week. Yes, Those of you be guys safe. That Drink responsibly. Responsibly. And um, please, we have a new Instagram page for our drinks. <laughs> It's called the Belly Shots. I will put it right here. Bob and Kelly Belly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bob and Kelly is belly. So right. the Belly, belly Shots. shots. So not really you're going to be like doing shots off the <laughs> no, belly. No. Because we're not. We are not. No. Don't expect that. It is just photos of our cocktails. Mm -hmm. And if you want the recipe, you can either watch the video again or ask me. Send me a direct message. I will be happy to send you yeah. the recipes. Sure enough. Okay. Okay. You guys have a great week. Thank yes. you so much. Take care and we will see you next time. Next week. Hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so that you do know when we post. And please give us a thumbs up because it does help us out a lot. Yes, it does. Okay, love you, bye. Love you, bye.